We're done with the traditional art. Let's move. So without further ado, YouTuber ang dating. Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. Medyo nawala tayo ng mga ilang weeks ano kasi busy-busyhan sa buhay, busy-busyhan sa mga artworks, art projects, mga ganon. At saka ngayon medyo balik work na naman kami sa school at meron na kami mga bagay-bagay na ginagawa. So, ayun. Pero, dito na tayo. We're back. Short hair tayo ngayon kasi ng summer napakainit dito sa Pilipinas. Yun kasi yung kasagsagan ng coronavirus. Tapos, dito lang tayo sa bahay. Nakakulong. At saka napakainit ng panahon. That is why, ito nang kinahantungan ng mga ng buho ko. For this vlog is magtatagalog muna tayo kasi wala lang feel ko lang magtagalog para naman um, you know, tangkiliki natin ng um, weekend tagalog. O, diba? Pero actually guys, bisaya talaga ako so please bear with me if there are words na namimispronounce ko kasi usahay gahi gahi jod ang mga bisaya ang magtagalog pero care na naman. This vlog, hindi tayo gagawa ng artworks, hindi tayo magdo-drawing kasi ay pag-uusapan tayo. And I know this is not so important to others. Pero yung iba naman, importante para sa kanilang malaman yung mga bagay-bagay na ganito. So, tayong mga tao, mahilig talaga tayong nag express ng mga ideas natin. Thoughts, emotions, to the world. And most of the time, we do it in the form of art. We used everything from rocks, clay, um, paint, and now technology. Yung iba kasi, nagdidibati sila kung anong mas maganda yung traditional art bar, yung digital art. Yung mga tao talaga. Maliit na bagay at pinag-aawa yan. Ano tong traditional art? Ito yung mga artworks na ginagamitan ng mga traditional mediums or real medias. Like for example, pencils, paint, charcoal, chalk, watercolor, and many others. And digital art are those artworks na ginagamitan ng mga digital technologies. Like for example, computer or tablet. Bago natin sabihin kung saan sa dalawa ang mas mabigat, let's take a look on the pros and cons of traditional and digital art. So, let's start it with pros of traditional art. So, number one is its original physical artwork. So, hindi mo talaga siya na basa-basang nakokopya yung traditional artwork, guys. Kasi, yung mga artist nun, eh, iba't iba talaga yung stroke niya. Meron siyang uniqueness, tinatawag na uniqueness. So, that is why also the traditional artworks are more valuable or mahalaga talaga siya. At saka yung price nung original artwork niya is napakamahal. Um, pwede mo siya ma-duplicate, pero mas mahalaga talaga yung original artwork niya. Hindi mo siya basa-basang nakokopya. Even though, um, gusto mo siyang kopyahin, may isang artwork na gusto mong kopyahin, hindi mo talaga siya exactly nakokopya, though some of the elements nakokopya mo, pero hindi mo siya exactly nakokopya kasi iba yung stroke ng bawat artist. Na-identify talaga kung saan yung original artwork at saan yung ginawa mo na kinopya mo lang. Number two is tangible. Ang maganda rin sa traditional art is it is tangible or nahahawakan mo siya. Mas maganda pa rin yung feeling na nahahawakan mo yung isang artwork. Na-feel mo yung texture. Sometimes nga is nasismell mo yung paint. Number three is no recharging. So, kung gagawa ka ng artwork in a traditional way, hindi ka na nag-worry kung kailangan mo ba siyang i-recharge or yung, yung battery ay ubus na or yung battery mo sa power bank mo ay ubus na. Hindi ka na nag-worry. Especially if you're doing an artwork outdoors. Diba? Walang kuryente doon. So, hindi ka nag-worry na uh, ano, wala nang battery yung gadget mo. Let's move forward, guys, on the cons of traditional art. Number one is unforgiving. So, unforgiving talaga siya, guys, kasi hindi mo na undo or hindi mo na i-erase yung mistake na nagawa mo. For example, 
meron kang line na hindi gusto or color na hindi mo gusto, hindi mo siya basa-basa nga i-erase or hindi mo siya na-undo. And guys, inaano lang siya, sinasapawa na lang siya ng color or ginagawan siya ng paraan para naman yung mistake mo eh, maging part na lang siya ng ano, ng artwork mo. Yun yung madalas na ginagawa ng mga traditional artist. Number two is difficult reproduction process. Mahirap talaga i-reproduce yung mga traditional artwork, guys. Kailangan mo pa siya i-scan. Mas mahirap siya. Mas kung ano pang paraan mo para ma-reproduce mo siya. Number three is expensive materials. Mahal talaga yung mga gamit ng traditional artist. From paint, canvas, yung mga kung ano-ano. So, once kung maubusan ka na ng mga art materials, kailangan mo pang bumili ulit. At saka, mahal talaga siya. Especially, yung mga professional art materials. Number four is messiness. Talagang nadudumihin ka talaga sa traditional art way. Nadudumihin yung shirt mo, yung pants mo, yung damit mo. But some of the artists, gusto rin nilang ano, nadudumihan. Kasi, yun kasi yung indicator na artist ka. So, okay lang naman yun, di ba? Number five is hard to store. Mahirap i-store yung traditional artwork. As the time goes by, yung paint ay nag-fade. Meron namang mga paraan kung paano ma-store yung mga traditional artworks, but hindi siya madali. No, kailangan mo pang, it's a process. So we are done with the pros and cons of traditional art, so let's move forward on the pros and cons of digital art. So let's start it with the pros of digital art. Number one is efficient. So why is it efficient, guys? Because once you already have the computer and the pen tablet, you are all set up. Though at first, nakakagastos ka ng marami kasi mahal yung computer, mahal yung pen tablet, pero forever mo naman siyang nagagamit, hindi siya nauubos. Hindi mo na siya paulit-ulit na binibili. Number two is forgiving. So, forgiving siya, guys, kasi naaandu mo or na-erase mo yung mga mistake na um, nagagawa mo. For example, may mga lines or colors kang hindi gusto, naaandu mo siya. Number three is it is flexible. So, marami ka talagang nagagawa sa digital art. Marami kang mga extra tools na pwedeng gamitin. Pagaya ng flip, rotation, resize, ano pa, shape tools, copy and paste, smudge, no, yung mga filters, adjustment, then blur, noise, at marami pang iba. So, flexible talaga siya. As in, nagagawa mo kahit ano na resize mo, na rotate mo yung image, at hindi nasisira yung artwork mo. Kasama na dun yung paggawa ng layers at paggamit ng undo at redo. Number four is easier duplication and easy to sell. Madali lang talaga siyang i-duplicate, guys, at madali lang siyang i-reproduce. In just a minute or a second, you just copy and paste it and boom. <laughs> And also, madali siyang ibibenta. I-email mo lang naman sa client or sa buyer yung copy ng original artwork mo. And yeah, they already have the original artwork. The same quality as the original artwork. <laughs> Number five is easier to store. So, madali lang siyang store kasi nandyan lang naman yan sa computer mo. Nandyan lang naman yan sa storage mo. Kahit umabot pa yan ng 10, 20 years. The same quality pa rin pag-open mo. Hindi siya na fade hindi siya na break or something. Okay, let's move on to the cons of digital art. Number one is no original copy. So, yun nga, yung sinabi ko na pwede kang mag-reproduce ng maraming original copies mo. You find it hard to identify na saan doon yung original copy mo talaga. So, in the end, hindi siya masyadong valuable. Hindi ka gaya ng traditional artwork na valuable talaga yung, or mahalaga talaga yung original artwork. Number two is carelessness. So, kasi flexible siya, hindi mo na pinaplano or hindi mo niisip na mabuti kung ano yung gusto mong gawin. So, just come what may. Kung ano lang yung lalabas sa artwork mo. So, just draw a line or a color. Kasi pwede mo naman siyang ma-undo or redo, di ba? Number three is non-tangible, so hindi mo siya nahahawakan. Though, pwede kang gumawa ng texture sa artwork mo, pero hindi mo siya nahahawakan, nafe-feel yung texture niya talaga. Number four is can be corrupted. So, yun talaga yung one of the disadvantages of digital art is pwede siyang makorrupt. 
pwede siyang magka-virus. Minsan din eh, gumagawa ka ng artwork tapos biglang nag-brand out o biglang nag-battery empty ka tapos hindi mo na save yung artwork mo. That is very heartbreaking talaga. Oh. Hindi mo na ma-retrieve yung, yung nagawa mo. Number five is printing. Minsan yung artwork mo is maganda tingnan sa monitor pero when it comes to printing is masyado siyang pixelated or yung color ay nag-iba. So yun guys, nasabi ko na yung pros and cons of the traditional and digital arts. So kayo nang bahalang humusga ko ano yung preferred medium para sa inyo. For me, I think it still needs great level of skills in the fundamental of arts when it comes to artwork making. Um, regardless of the mediums that you're going to use. Either you're going to use the traditional or the digital way. For me naman, I both use traditional and digital art. I enjoy both. Pero nag-start akong gamitin yung traditional art at saka um, just recently lang yung digital art. Um, wala namang right or wrong medium for as long as comfortable kayong gamitin yun. At saka na-express nyo yung emotion nyo at saka yung ideas nyo na parating nyo sa iba through an art form. So, yun guys, yun lang yung masyashare ko sa inyo ngayon. Kung gusto mo yung video ito, please huwag kang mahiyang mag-like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching! Bye!